All right. DNA Facts. is kept in chromosomes inside the nucleus of eukaryotic cells. Now, you need to know what eukaryotic means, okay? The prefix U means true. And true cells have a nucleus. Like, like your cells. You have a nucleus, so you have true cells. Another great way to remember, see this U, EU in nucleus, EU in eukaryotic. Right? So our Facts. DNA is packed into chromosomes. Uh, chromosomes are basically snippets of DNA that are easier to carry around. And we learn about mitosis, which is cell division. Uh, we're going to learn that it's, it's important to have it in smaller parts so we can move the chromosomes around. So here you have your DNA double helix. And let's say this. If this is an adenine, then that has to be a thymine. And if this is a guanine, then that has to be a cytosine. A to T, C to G. Always together, good couple. Right. Now, this DNA double helix is relatively fragile, so we need to protect it. So we're going to wrap it around some proteins to kind of make it have a little bit of protection. And these proteins are called histones. So write yourself a little note that these are proteins. Now, eight proteins are going to cling together to form a little bead. So if you look here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then there's a fourth one back in behind here. Now, two loops of DNA are going to wrap around eight histone molecules. And that's going to form a structure called a nucleosome. Oftentimes, you're going to read that nucleosomes are described as beads on a string. You get caught up there. There we go. Okay. And you want to remember that it's eight histones. HIS for histones, and two DNA loops. So you see here, right? Here's a nucleosome. One, two, three. There's a fourth one hidden behind here. Five, six, seven, eight histones. One loop, two loops. That's one nucleosome. Oh! Okay. The nucleosomes are coiled up into what are creatively called a coil. The coils are then coiled up again, and those are called supercoils. And then the supercoils are going to compact into what we call a chromosome. And in fact, because you have one side of the X and another side of the X, this is actually called a replicated chromosome. Now, each side of the X has a special name. And they are called chromatids. Chroma T I D. Chromatids. Oh! Now, it gets a little confusing at this because we have the words chromosomes, chromatid, and now we have a third word. And it's called chromatin. See that word I in? That refers to protein. Chromatin is basically DNA and the proteins that it's wrapped around. So chromatin can be coiled up into chromatids, and two chromatids come together to create a chromosome. It is ridiculously confusing because they're all the same thing. Chromatin, chromatids, chromosomes, they're the exact same thing. They just get a different name at different times in the cycle. So you just, you just need to keep practicing these to, to be able to tell the difference between a chromatid, chromatin, and a chromosome. But I'll give it to you one more time. Chromatin is DNA wrapped around uh, protein. Chromosome is condensed chromatin. And a chromatid is one half of the X. Okay? Okay, we're going to stop right there. This is going to end our series from Chapter 12a on DNA structure and uh, the structure of chromosomes and how DNA was discovered. In other words, what was the role of all these scientists? Uh, chapter 12b will consist of a single episode on DNA replication. In other words, how does this double helix split apart 
to make a copy so we can pass a copy of our genes on to the next generation. Okay, until then, I'll catch you on the next series of episodes.